in a terribly designed and horribly built tin can of a space pod trying to survive until um, rescue or just trying to beat your best time. I'm tempted. I actually haven't looked at this game at all yet. And I'm tempted to go in blind for my first run and then come back and do the tutorial because I think it could be quite funny uh, for the um, <laughs> for the experience to start with everything going wrong and not really knowing what's happening. Apparently there are manuals and things you can read to understand how each of the system wor systems work, that sort of thing. Uh, but I thought, given this is supposed to be a bit of a frantic survival in space thing, and you are meant to fail. Let's fail first. Because I think failing first is kind of... Could be fun. So, let's... <laughs> let's start the... Uh, I guess we start the fail. Here we go. Rescue, survive six minutes. Ooh. Okay. It sounds like it could be tough if six minutes is a problem. Yep, splitsy dying in space in new and interesting ways. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Okay, apparently we're getting some Reactor tutorial tips anyway. Imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod. Oh, that, that was a weird flick to full mode to uh pre-rated video yeah it does seem like it's meant to be a losing is fun kind of game so there's our timer maintain the right or left click press while aiming at a nearby handle to move it around in zero g okay seeing any warnings at the moment. Temperature seems okay. Oxygen levels seem okay. Something's about to go wrong. <laughs> I'm so unsure of what's happening right now. Because I'm like, when's it gonna go wrong? When's it gonna go sideways? Oh, here we go. Breathability. Oh, here we go. Going through some tiny little rocks. The timer the timer counting down. Ah! The timer counting down is till say till I get rescued. That's a good timer. The closer that gets to zero, the closer I am to surviving this. That's a good timer. That's not a bad timer. Uh, okay, so my oxygen generator is failing. Master portion. Alright, what's wrong with this? Power. I steal power from. Ah! Yeah, 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 I know that's going wrong. Uh, CO2 scrub is fine. Pressure generator. Is my pressure okay? What's my pressure thing? I remember seeing it. <laughs> Look at the batteries in these things. A battery around here that I can steal. Main lights. Emergency lights. And that's a large fuse that is not a battery. Uh, 
Hmm. <laughs> I don't see any obvious hull breaches. I'm getting a master caution though. Oh wait, that's the main generator. You seem to be feeling a bit dizzy. Find the source of the problem and fix it before losing consciousness for good. Yeah, I need power. The oxygen generator is failing and I don't know where to get power. Is it just the... Okay, we're fine. Fuse blow? Hmm. Oh, here's storage. Battery storage. is empty. Fantastic. Electrical storage. A transformer, but it's otherwise. Yeah. Is there a transformer in this damage? Yeah. Ow! Yeah. Ah! I think I just died. <laughs> I don't know what went bad there, but something went bad. I probably should have turned it off or tapped F faster once I realized that tapping F was what it wanted me to do. I'm kind of inclined to do this without things. Um, you know what? I'm not going to do the tutorial. I'm going to refuse to do the tutorial because I think the failures can be fun. Yeah, <laughs> maybe electrocution was a better way to go than some occasion. CRT monitor. Yeah, this filter. is not a drill. Warning. Pumps. Power connectors. This is not a drill. Power transformer. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate the nearest escape pod immediately. High capacity fuse. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. To the Let's see if there's a battery. I want a battery. I don't know why I want a battery, but I figure a battery. Uh, I got in. <laughs> Just. Okay. So what broke last time? That's the thing I can't figure out. Like, I couldn't work out what in here was actually broken. If anything. Because I think, um, like I'm assuming something was broken there or there was some hole in the pod. Good nitrogen bottle. I think there was no pump. Ah, the pump might have died. Okay. At least if I've taken a bit of a closer look at it, I might have a feel for what's missing. Ah. 
so this time I appear to have lost my power. No, my power system. Over here. Emergency lights. Oh, no, I've lost all power. Fuse, large panel transformer. Hey, look at this. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> My battery has to recharge. Uh... Hey, this is really hard when you. Like the, I thought there was going to be, when I started to muck around with it, like when I started to look at this game, I thought there'd be some way to tell when something was broken. Other than it just not working. But I can't see anything damaged in here. See anything damaged in this thing? There's no power to it, so the CRTs aren't going to work, so there's no reason for them to work. And that fuse doesn't look damaged. All the lights, the power transformer doesn't show any damage. for something that would actually, you know, look burnt or fried out so you could be like, oh yeah, okay, I can figure this out by just, you know, working my way through and problem solving. I was looking in the emergency lights box and nothing looks wrong in there either. Let's have a look at this tutorial and see if... Whoops, that's not what I meant to press. I meant to go back to the menu, not back to Windows. <laughs> yeah, Arctic... Charles, I, I was hoping that a game like this where you're supposed to problem solve wouldn't come down to just looking through a manual. I know there's a manual. I read about, like, I read into the game a bit before deciding to do it on stream. I was just like, if I have to read and memorize a manual, I still won't know which parts are broken. Hey, Jerry, uh, can you hear me? C could you leave your cleaning trolley for a minute and uh, help me out? Just get inside the pod. You can't miss it. You're right next to it. This pot is a piece of junk, not worth any maintenance, but I don't make the rules. 
Anyway, I was supposed to reassemble the oxygen system. C could you locate the oxygen system and open? Yep, this is the one. Uh, as you can see, it's empty. All the components are behind you on the workbench. Just grab a couple so we can get started. Pop all the things in. Just put all the components back inside the oxygen system. Uh, you can't get it wrong. They all only fit in there. Jerry, uh, you should be done by now. Just turn the oxygen system. Well done. Uh, now we just need to check if everything is working properly. Could you look at the monitor and switch to the arrow? Perfect. Um, now, as you can see, the oxygen bottle inside the system is empty. Could you swap it with the oxygen bottle located in the recycling station? That's the one. Right. Uh, the recycling station converts carbon dioxide into oxygen. Pretty useful, eh? Anyway, just uh, replace the empty bottle. All right, we're done. Thank you, Jerry. Uh, you can go back to your cleaning trolley. Wait, damn it, are you still there? I'm detecting a leak in the pod. Could you uh, get the leak feeler? You might have to climb a bit. Uh, you can grab a handle with your free hand to get closer to the leak. Oops, didn't mean to drop that. Well done. I'm not detecting any leak anymore. Uh, we're all good. Thanks for your help. Anyway, I gotta go. This damn reactor is driving me crazy. Uh-huh. Uh, I guess I learned something there. So, I, I learned about what the leak filler is. <laughs> uh, Octoneth... Uh, in terms of Jerry, offering advice, can you hear me? Sure. Sorry whether to I'll you again, um, but I'm stuck in the ship's engine room. Take the and advice. I still don't have time to Who take knows? care of that damn Medusa escape. We're going to check to see if the life support systems of the pod are working properly. I'm gonna need you to turn them on one by one so we can check their values on their monitor. First, let's make sure that we have what we need to breathe properly. All right. I need so on Earth at sea level. The atmospheric pressure is one bar, and the oxygen level yep, is yep, around. Yep. So the I bomb inside that. the oxygen system diffuses the oxygen contained inside an O2 bot. Below the oxygen system, you'll find the carbon dioxide. Good. You have to be aware that too much CO2 in the air is. Yep. Now let's check the pressure generator uh, just below this. So this system is here to maintain the atmospheric pressure at one bar by releasing or capturing nitrogen in the air. The, all right, we're good for the atmospheric systems. Now let's turn the temperature system. You know, space is cold, but there is nothing there to efficiently transfer heat. I mean, sure, without heating, you'll eventually freeze to death. But in a pod like this one, <laughs> in retrospect, with a I guess it's likely pile, a good thing that they are making sure cool if you don't the escape pods cooked. work when they are working on the reactor. Uh. Also, thanks, FX Potato. Thanks for the prime sub. Uh. The temperature system uses power to produce heat and liquid nitrogen to cool the air. I can tell you that cooling the air is very important when you're running the atomic pilot. All right, you should be feeling warmer now. Uh, everything looks to be in order. Thanks for your help. You okay. can go back to your work. And yeah. I have my own work to do to make sure our ship's reactor doesn't... a tutorial of stuff that I kind of figured out by just hours. looking at the things. See ya. Um, I'm going to try and die again. Oh no, I should do power management because that was the thing that possibly killed me last time. I don't know. Yeah, dragged on. <laughs> As I said, I know there's a tutorial. Hey, I know uh, uh, it's me tutorial. again. I know there's a I manual in there. Help. So I was installing but a new atomic bile inside the. How many people Zumbler? actually have read right, the I need manuals you to for find games the they play? 
It's located on the ceiling above the gravity. Yep, you got it. Uh, now just turn it on, all right? Perfect. You shouldn't see much of a difference right away. It takes a moment for the atomic pile to warm up. The hotter it gets, the more power. Do you see the ammeter below the generator? So the red needle indicates the energy produced by the pile. And the blue one indicates how much energy the active systems need to function. As you can see, it's above the red one. It means that the pile is currently not warm enough to produce. Now, I'm going to remotely lock the pile temperature for some tests. But okay. in normal circumstances, it's the processor plugged into the main generator that controls this temperature to provide the required amount of power. I guess I don't need to tell you what happens when it breaks down, huh? See? The pile temperature is stabilized and the needle is... Damn it! I've locked the temperature too soon. And there isn't enough power. Could you... Could you turn other systems off so we can save enough power to turn the main computer back on? Okay. Just keep an eye on the needles. You need to align them. Turn on everything off. Can't really see the meter. What's going to turn off? Perfect. I'm getting the data. Thank you. Oh. Okay. If you ever have to operate an atomic pile, keep in mind that it's slow, capricious, and that it can get very, very hot. So uh, always make sure. Anyway, it seems the new All atomic right. pile cool. is we working something. fine. So that's it for me, and you can get back to your cleaning. Alright, I'm gonna try and die again. That's enough tutorial. What was the other tutorial? Hey, thanks, Gumokan. Failures and diagnostics. Oh, well, right, I'll do the whole lot. I'm still- I'm so gonna die. Also, hey, Jerry. I know, I know. This is the last time, I swear. Just get back inside the pod. There is a problem huh. with the oxygen system you reassembled earlier. I'm not saying it's your fault, but I need you to take... Thanks again, I'm not man. saying it's your fault, but it's your you fault. You have no idea how much work it is to I'm keep this it's your fault, escape it's pod in working order. Honestly, I, I would rather die than... Anyway, the oxygen system has a problem and... Perfect. You should have the error list in front of you. The main computer usually translates the code, so unfortunately I can't really help you from here. So I'll let you browse the manual to find what the error codes mean. I'll let you grab the defective component once you figure out which one it is. Main oh, and uh, do not forget to turn the system off before touching anything, alright? Uh, page 31. Bad power transformer. How can I pull this out? Hello? Um. Because this is all the logic components, so that's all the processes and stuff. The power components are in here, for the main computer. Because the main computer is offline. And when I open it up... Uh, 
But it's this main comp offline. Oops, I did it again. I did it again. I didn't learn from my mistake. Um, so unfortunately, I can't really help you from here. So I'll let you browse the up. manual to find what the error is. Get rid of the battery too. I'll let you grab the. Def um, I don't think there is anything wrong with this one. So just yeah. put it back inside the system and read the manual again to find the right one. So unfortunately, I can't really help you from here. So I'll let I you browse the manual to find what the error codes mean. <laughs> I'll let you grab the no, it's defective off. component once That's you figure on. out That's which off. one it is. Oh, yeah. Oh, I had I a flick feeling it again this transformer wasn't working properly. <laughs> I need you to use the repair station to fix it. I'll put the transformer inside it and it will tell you how many spare parts are needed for repairs. Wait. Do you see the numbers on the repair station? So the top screen indicates how many spare parts are required to fix the components and the bottom one, how many you currently have. So we don't have enough. We need to dismantle something else to get more spare parts. Just take the transformer out of the repair station. All right, so let's dismantle a component we don't need. I think I left a monitor on the workbench. Sure. Uh, put it inside the repair station, close the door, and well done. You now have enough spare parts to fix the transformer. You can throw the monitor away. It's dead now anyway. Just put the transformer inside the repair station and press repair. Right. I still think it'd be nice um, to have some sort of visual indicator of a part that's damaged so you don't have to go through... You can now put the transformer the, back um, inside the oxygen process system. of looking at the monitor uh, and stuff. Make sure it's turned off first. All right. Well done. You're really doing me a favor, so thank you. Uh, you can get back to your cleaning trolley, and I'm going to get back to work. Yeah. Jerry, the ship's cooling system just failed. Warning. The reactor, it's reactor going to blow. You need to grab Evacuate as many components as you can in the storage rooms and evacuate right now. No matter Warning. what you do, do reactor not leave aboard that dead. Evacuate to the nearest escape huh. pod immediately. Do not leave aboard the thing that this we're leaving aboard. Sure. Alright, let's try this. Survive six minutes. Can I do it this time? Probably not. How am I going to die this time? Will I electrocute myself again because I keep forgetting to turn things off? Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. Now, this is what I should have been doing last time. Throwing as many parts in as I can. I probably don't want to worry about data connectors, but oh well. Do I get? Yeah, let's go for one last run. This Come on. Not a drill. Four, three, two, four. Oh. That's close. Okay. Uh, what's the monitor not on? Hello? Hello? Oh, there we go.
Uh, cool. Hey, thanks, Streeto. Thanks for five months. Uh, we're looking okay on the power front. Let's put that away. Where is that? Oh, there it is. There's the lake filler. What's this? Oh, it's a mini escape pod. Right. Uh, and yes, the VR mode for this is already uh, available as a beta thing. Do you know what I, was what I was thinking about yesterday when I brought up that I was going to potentially play this game on stream? Was that it's a little bit like single player, keep talking and nobody explodes. Which made me think something I've thought about before, which was... NA82, which was that uh, the it could be fun to play Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes with chat. <laughs> NA82, low pump, page 25. Do I need to read the low pump? Cause is impossible, comes to not. Gah! Turn you off. Let's open you up. Let's check the pump. Why aren't you on? Oh no, it. Oh no. So the repair station's missing all of the right bits. Fantastic. Seventeen H. What? Seventeen <laughs> K. I see. Where's O seventeen H? Oh man, I can't see it. There's no, there's no main com Oh no. There is no main computer. Why do I feel like I'm not going to have the parts to fix that? Probably because I'm not. Okay, the oxygen bottle is almost out. from this thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Calm down. Calm down. Uh, what else does this thing need? Transformer. Uh, Jerry? Nope. Can you hear me? It's me, 
Are they I'm bigger? aboard a rescue ship. And we're almost there. Just keep your beacon online a few more seconds so we don't lose you. We're going to bring you home, all right? Uh, fuse, 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 fuse. No. Spot for data connector in there. No! Wait, what? Uh, did I just magically survive that? I did. <laughs> I didn't do anything, though. Did nothing and survived. This pod was made for Cap. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> uh, I almost did do something useful. Alright, let's try surviving 10 minutes. Because I felt like that was about to go all horribly wrong, but I got saved just in the nick of time. Grab the biggest thing I can see. Come up. This is not Let's a go here. Yeah. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is certainly this something. Is Ooh, there's better stuff in this room. Warning. I wonder if this Reactor stuff's randomized as to the location, because it really should be. Because that'd spice things up quite a bit. This is not a drill. Warning. Oh no! Oh no! I stuffed up. I'm gonna die. I died. <laughs> okay, I tried to grab too much. Ah, greed. Ever person's undoing. Grabbing as much as I can. Don't know why I'm grabbing so many air filters, but sure. So I can break them down if I can repair the thing. Oh no! Oh, okay, I'm giving up. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. <laughs> Alright. Let's let's see what I die of this time, or if I magically make it to ten minutes. Oh. Okay, I've got canisters in the repair station this time. Okay, so that's kind of cool. So there are... Things are different each time you come through in terms of what's broken. I like that. Do I have a main computer this time? Nope. I do not have the parts for that, so... Should be alright. Yes, maybe. Files warming up and getting up to the mark it needs to be at for all the things. Yeah, getting hit in the head by all this stuff would hurt. <laughs> he 
<laughs> yeah, the Subnautica crash sequence at the start, all of this stuff bouncing around would be problematic. stuff? No. No. Alright, waiting for things to go wrong again. Here we go. I suppose I can start putting some stuff in the main computer, I guess. So I've mainly got air related stuff. Uh, buzzer. Does this need a buzzer somewhere? Highlight might be broken on that. Uh, electric storage. There we go. Power connector. Shouldn't need another fuse. Oh. Why is it going dark? Why am I why am I seeing what looks like gas outside? Okay, demand is a lot higher. Turn the things off. Uh, what else can I turn off? Where are the lights? How do I make this thing warm up? I turn off. I realize I just stopped my timer, um, but I can't see anything else to turn off. thing warm up. Gravity generator. Count is basically matched, right? And is that 
happier now. Still not. Okay, we've got a CO2 down to 5.2%. It's going up again. It's going up again. Come on! Open the windows to refresh air. <laughs> Comp offline 017 8 BKEE -E and 8. Oh, need some lights. Okay, we got error codes up here. That's what I want. Main comp offline. That's not helpful. So I have to get the main computer online to be able to get this power back. That's not going to happen while I don't have any power. Uh, let's have a look. Let's just see if I can see if there's like a tank empty or anything. CO2 bottle looks full. That's probably part of the problem. Two's low. Come on. Come on. Yep. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. No. Dang it. I was fifteen seconds from rescue if I'd left my beacon on. <laughs> Oh. oh dear. <laughs> that was close. Warning. We have to drop down the net. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown unit. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown unit. I don't know what I'm grabbing. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Oh, Warning. I went in the wrong way. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape Yes, I do, General Adama. I stream on YouTube, too. <laughs> have a life outside Twitch. I've only recently started doing the content creator thing full-time. Now that I know this is here... I'm tempted to turn you off. lose the gravity because that's just power I don't need to spend for the moment uh, right so I've got oxygen and CO2 bottles this time that's nice what are the ones in here looking like not great no don't pick it up again Grr. Okay, so maybe I do want this on.
Where'd the other bottle go? And let's open this one up. At least we got fresh stuff to begin with in there. All right, now to build up the computer. and filters are going to be needed. Uh, right, let's start with the power components. Electrical storage. Power connector. I'm thinking battery storage. Electronic storage. Alright, I'm going to have to cannibalize something and I'm trying to decide what. Let's steal stuff from the grab gen, why not? Let's see if that's got enough bits for me to fix this thing up. Ah! Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I do wonder how long it's going to take me to remember to turn things off before I handle fuses. <laughs> Capacity fuse. What else is here? Large power transformer? Do I need that? Or do I just need a regular one? Oh, I think. I think this might only be replacement parts for the um for the reactor. I think. Okay, we're cold again, so. I'm assuming that's what the gas outside is. Let's turn you off. Nope, that's not how we turn off. Uh, gotta get this down to the point where it's gonna tell me what's wrong. Turn off the beacon, but I think I might have to. Yeah, the gravity's on annoyingly. Is that enough? That should be enough. Main comp offline 2B28. Ah. 2B28. Where's 2B28? System low power. The power connector is not operating properly. Or well, the main generator is not providing enough power. It seems like not enough power, but. How do I fix that? Should I try that? Beacon's battery powered. Oh yeah, it is too. It's got a large battery. Ah! Seriously, Splitsy, learn! <laughs> How do I increase the temp of the reactor, though? AA. Oh, I'm gonna. I need 
to just try and run these as best they can, because I'm going to suffocate otherwise. Uh, bottles are okay for the moment. At least the oxygen is. CO2 is fine too, because I switched them out to begin with. Um, cut the reactor cooling. How do you do that? Yeah, I feel like the main comp needs to come online to be able to manage the power settings for the reactor. They're both getting a lot better, so I can probably turn them off again. Still fine on that front. Um, so... How am I going to get the main computer online? Takari, I haven't even seen any of the components that go in the computers when I've been grabbing stuff. <laughs> I haven't seen anything remotely like the stuff I need for the computer. Um, processor on atomic pile. But then that doesn't... But then if I get rid of that... Uh oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna... No! I didn't mean to click. I didn't mean to click. <laughs> I died at the moment I was meant to be saved. Oh no, wait, it's another minute. Because there's the mi- I think you, it counts the minute on board the thing. Oh. I didn't mean to click then. All right. So, I'm going to die this time. In the first minute, what I would like to do is take my time to see what's in what room and if it's the same each time. There's power transformers. There are things. Like a power transformer. And there's a large processor there. Pump, CRT monitor. Capacity fuse, regular fuse, large batteries. So I want to probably grab these first because then I can operate, then I can use their power to operate the oxygen and CO2 systems. I feel like this is the way this game forces you to play. You have to. It's, it's Groundhog Day, the game. Batteries in here. Yeah, this definitely feels like um, feels like Groundhog Day. Like you're just learning to see what, like, how to do better. Genuine people personality calls. Time and relative dimension in space. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate 
evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Exoception office. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. Reactor meltdown huh. imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Actually, that's a good point. Were those original batteries? Warning. Are these ones dead? No, they've charged for charged. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. Okay, let's let's see what we can get. Let's see what we can get. This would be one hell of a groundhog day. Warning. Reactor meltdown imminent. Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. This is not a drill. Warning. We need a death counter. Uh, you yeah, probably should have done a death counter. This is, it feels like it's procedural. I could be wrong, but it feels like it, there are some things in it that change between runs. I'm not sure though. Okay, this has a battery this time. These both have batteries this time. Uh, let's switch up the bottles while it's easy to do so. switch. What are you missing? What should I steal to make you work? Large power transformer. Electrical storage. What do we got? Power transformer. Fuse. Does this need a fuse? Yes. Got the power transformer. I need. Uh... I need to puzzle. Uh, what should I? Let's scavenge this. It's... It is off. <laughs> Before I start grabbing at things. I need the, um, this thing. Aha! Hooray! Maybe that'll help me be able to control the power on the generator?
Well, that's progress. Slow progress, but there's progress. Oh, there goes my temp. How do I get my temp back up? Uh, I would have thought these would be running off battery, so I don't need to turn them off, but apparently I do. Let's turn off that grab jam. Still not enough off. It's going to turn off. Heater. Heater can turn off. Now let's see if I can turn the main computer on. Can I put a battery in here? The main computer doesn't look like it. Right, so I can't turn the main computer on. Delightful. Oh, wait a second. Turn off the emergency lights. Can I then turn the computer off? Nope. Right, turning the emergency lights back on because it's heaps easier than using this flashlight, which constantly runs out. Uh, this is all the in-game music. I decided to leave it on because I was curious as to whether it'll add to the mood. I have to turn these on. I'm going to suffocate otherwise. System low power. It just says system low power. That's not helpful. I know the system's low power. High capacity power connector might be cool. Maybe. Capacity fuse. Large power connector. Alright. Where's the high capacity power connector on this thing? Try turning back on. Hello? That's made no difference. Fantastic. Go. There. Uh, what about the tran power transformer? Large power connector. Better? That's kind of 
come up to where it was. Do I have the ability to hit it with a wrench? <laughs> oh, how I wish I did. No, we're still really low power. Main comp offline. Yeah, I know the main comp's offline. Oh, now we're hitting that storm. How much longer do I have to... A minute. A minute to go. Um, did I even... Did I actually fix anything then? <laughs> I don't think I fixed anything. I think all I did was use battery power to get through that. <laughs> Is that... Is that all I'm supposed to do? Something's gonna get damaged now. Gary? Can you hear me? It's me! I'm aboard the rescue ship. We're almost there. Just... Keep your beacon online a few more seconds so we don't lose you. We're going to bring you home, alright? No breaches. Hooray! I did nothing and survived again! <laughs> I don't... I don't know what I did. <laughs> Uh, oh, hold up. So I gained the batteries after surviving that first one. Surviving by the power of luck. Try the free play less of a junkie capsule. Maybe. Uh, actually, let's see. What do you guys reckon I should do? Which way should I die? Free play? Survive to 15 minutes. Huh. I reckon I, reckon I can get lucky and do 15 minutes. Slash, I reckon I can try and survive. I feel like luck will play a large role in space exploration in the future. <laughs> oh, it's cold this morning. Okay, everyone's trying to match the things on either side again. Fantastic. Why does it say best time so far? Zero minutes. Uh, yeah, 
crazy 49er. That was exactly what we were talking about earlier. I I kind of want to do Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes Twitch edition to see if um, I can have you guys reading the manual and me trying to follow your instructions. Because I, I feel like it'll be an interesting uh, experiment in figuring out quickly who to trust and who's got the lowest latency. So it could be quite entertaining. <laughs> Alright, looks like Survived 15 Minutes is going to... Oh, nope, maybe not. Yeah, that's fine, Dr. Nath, you can post it. longer on the pole, about another 10 seconds. Maybe a bit longer than that. Looks like we're doing survive to 15 minutes. I wonder if it's still going to be the cold challenge or whether it's a different one this time. Alright, cool. Survive to 15 minutes. Let's go. Yeah, this, this is, um, on Steam. The idea, it's kind of like, I guess it's in some ways sort of a timed escape room. You gotta try and figure out how to survive long enough. start running that while I can. Being aware that I have to turn it off at some point. Um, oh, nuts. I didn't manage to get a power connector. Or a power switch. <laughs> okay, so I slightly failed on my collection of stuff. A little bit. But we got batteries and all these systems, that's good. Yep. Put things away so that I get in the way. Wait for things to go wrong. I get the impression that Capac wouldn't enjoy this. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how Capac would feel about this one. I think, I think for me, this is a game that I probably wouldn't end up playing a lot of, but is interesting from will be interesting from time to time. What the? Why am I hearing thunder in space? Ion 
storm. What is that going to break? Alright, my bottles are full, so that's fine. Let's turn that off. Yeah! Reset any of these systems and get them working again. Uh -oh. Do I have a spare fuse? That the main f oh. It's the main fuse that's blown? Oh, did I just destroy that fuse again? Am I dead now? I think I'm dead now. So that's the fuse I put in that was already busted. Bugger. Ah, what am I inside? Oh dear. I think I made a fatal error. I think once I saw the lightning storm, I should have disconnected. I should have turned off the main power and switched everything off. I, the repair station's so damaged, I don't think I've got time to do it. Oh, <laughs> I might have just saved myself then. See a hole. Let's put the atomic pile away because it's gonna get my way. Oh. 
like anything horrific happened. Uh, <laughs> happened yet. Master caution. What? What's wrong? Uh, bad wrong? What's been damaged? Data connector dead. Ah. Where is the data connector for this thing? Seriously, where's the data connector on this thing? Still okay. Yeah, Carl does Lama. I'm not a big fan of the lack of visual indication of damage. Uh, I like to be more into the world rather than having to, rather than losing that. Or maybe the large process is dead. by the thing. There's no... I can't see any data connector here. Oh, there it is. Why are you... Oh no, is the filter dead? Ah! Wait, is there no... Wait, 
Wait, how... Can I clean the filter? Okay, it was the filter that was the problem. I just guessed at that. Because that's coming down rapidly. That's good. Oh, the... Oh, the air filters have the different... Never mind. <laughs> I was expecting them to look the same from the top. Then I was silly. Because you can see the filter part here, but you can't see it when it's in the drawer. Clean CO2 filter by pressing E. How long left to survive? Where's my beacon? Where's my beacon? My beacon's off. No. Oh no. Oh no. No, 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 no. Three minutes to go. Well, this is this is feeling controllable, although my power situation is not great. I need to switch a few things off. Turn off my lights. See if we can get through this. I should turn off these. This too. run these intermittently while we got low power and it's freezing out there. Huh. Uh, I don't know if there's a... I presume the batteries get charged when the reactor is running at full capacity. Uh, I guess that's how it works. Maybe? Who knows? <laughs> I don't. Minute 15. CO2 down and then I'll bring the O2 up as well. Oh, battery fast charger. I see. Yes, 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 I know. Yeah, I presume things like the battery system don't get added like it's it's this kind of gradual gating of difficulty that you, there are more and more systems to manage. Jerry? 
Can you hear me? As you go along. It's me. I'm aboard a rescue ship. Uh, we're almost there. Just keep your beacon online a few more seconds so we don't lose you. We're going to bring you home, all right? Hooray! I did it! <laughs> it's... From reading the reviews, this was implied to be a much more frantic game than it's felt. Also, I just survived 18 minutes instead of 15 because I didn't realise that my beacon was out for so long. Uh, I did not, Laws. I did not. I might call it there for Tin Can. That was a bit of fun. I think what I'm going to do is quickly take like a one minute break and then we'll switch over and we'll get back to pressurizing the base in Station Ears. So I'll be back with that very shortly. Uh, those of you who aren't able to hang around, I'll be back with some more scavenger hunt on saturday some more icarus tomorrow i think with capac and pav this is all that and plenty more to come and i'll be back in just a minute see you in a moment <laughs> <laughs> 